Well, here we are on a beautiful fall day in Palmer, Massachusetts. This is Dr. Dirt at Blue Star Aquaculture. There's a lady. She's looking on. She's happy to see everybody too. Okay, uh, today is November 2nd, I believe. And daylight saving time is over. And things are getting ready to go to bed for the winter. Although up here in Massachusetts, we still haven't had a hard frost. As you see, most of many of the cover crops that I planted, uh, most of the cover crops that I planted are still thriving. We haven't had a hard frost for these guys. Although you hear some areas, some things have been killed off by the frost. And this will uh, give some protective biomass for the soil for the winter. And uh, I'm just happy to see these things thriving here. Uh, these cover crops are not used in home gardens a lot, and uh, there's no reason why anyone in their backyard should not be growing cover crops because they're one of the best ways to improve the soil. There are people who do not, don't like to use any animal products at all, and of course this is the best way to improve the soil for those guys. Because there are not too many people I know that won't put manure in their soil, but there are people and uh, they have a way also. This is called green manure. And as you can see in these raised beds, this is a uh, spring mix or a fall mix that will, uh, a lot of this will die back in the hard frost, but there's crimson clover, and there's uh, winter rye, and there's some vetch in here. And those things should live through the winter and come back in the spring, and this will continue to add biomass to this uh, portion of this raised bed here, this part of the spiral. You can see the spirals are pretty high up. So you, I'll take the camera down and show you all the way down to the ground. There we go, back up again into the path. So we should be able to dig a little portion away and investigate the roots. These have been inoculated with mycelium mushrooms, and uh, so hopefully those, those guys are just really happy under there colonizing the roots, and hopefully the uh, earthworms are starting to live under here also. But uh, this is a beautiful home project that anyone could do, planting cover crops, having raised beds. And once the raised beds are built, there's not much work. In the spring, if you don't want this cover crop here, you can cut it down or just Throw cardboard on top. Throw a little more straw on top of that cardboard. Let it sit a week or two and then plant right in the cardboard if you want to do some sheet mulching. And uh, all this biomass will just go right into the raised bed and become part of the topsoil. Or you can let this grow in the spring and it could get uh, probably six, seven feet tall. And now that it's raised up, it might be eight or nine feet tall. So standing in here would be quite tall. And uh, I don't know what else I wanted to say except look at this beautiful sunset we have out here. And this is Dr. Dirt, Blue Star Aquaculture, over.